psychology, sociology, what's happening around you. These are the things that are more uh, of a dictator and indicators of your nutrition than just food. Okay, so this is something that we really, we really need to pay attention to. And that's why I want to talk with you guys today about environment. What's happening around you? Your environment is what helps you grow, what is not helping you grow. This is the situation that you're in, your friends, your family, but also what you are allowing into your body, your mental, your, your gut health. These are the things that dictate your environment. And we're going to talk about these things right here. All right, so environment. Your surroundings first, guys. Is that, uh, you know, you live in a fast life? Are you somebody who is constantly on the go? Are you living more, you know, in the rural areas where, you know, a slower pace of life, a uh, suburban area where, you know, more things are probably done for you, uh, you more have access to more things is what I'm trying to say. Um, and how is that shaping your environment, how you live, okay? really pay attention to that I really want you guys to stay aware of how are you living is it fast paced are you under control is it more slower pace and you wanted to pick up a little bit more okay family and friends this is huge your support system okay because growing up we really don't we really can't decide who's our mom and dad and you know our cousins and things like that that's just what we know growing up that's how we grow up. We grow up on different foods, whether you live in France, Germany, Atlanta, Brazil, whatever. Those foods that we grow up on is, you know, part of our health. It's part of tradition and we don't know anything different until we get old enough to kind of travel, see, see different things, experience different things. But this is really important because what does that support system look like around you, that environment around you? Is it are they giving you support? Are they helping you, you know, grow into the, you know, the gift that you're supposed to be? Okay? So really pay attention to that. Uh, are those friends really good friends to help you, you know, grow? Are they willing to, you know, stay in pocket and, you know, only come around when they know you're not busy so they're not causing too much of a ruckus in your life? Okay, the next one, guys, in your surroundings, what you allow in you. So this is big because uh, the example that I want to use for this is your, your social media. So if you give me your, your phone right now and I, and I tell you to put on your Facebook, put on your Instagram, this is you. This is what you are feeding your mind for instant gratification. This is what either, you know, something that is either building you, giving you some kind of uh, wisdom, knowledge or you know just shaping your environment and your lifestyle or it is something that is just giving you trash giving you instant gratification like a sugar spike something to just you know see and then you just feed in your mind that and that's something you really got to pay attention to is that giving you health is that giving you wealth and not, I'm not talking about like money wealth I'm talking about uh, you know your wisdom knowledge things like that is that help building a, a, a foundation that you need in life? Because if, if you're proud of what's on your Instagram, what's on your Facebook, your friends, that, that environment, that community, then yeah, you're good. But if you look at it right now and you like, it really ain't nothing but Instagram models, uh, just cheeseburgers or I don't know what else is on there, then you know, you may need to look at it and say this is not the environment that I want to shape my mind around okay I need to be more aware of it I need to I need to really think about how I'm feeding my mind okay alright so next thing guys is gut and mind this is part of your environment this is more part of the physical gut mental part of your environment so it's, it's more to deal with uh, not so much what's happening outside outside of you that's influencing your environment but what's happening within you to that, that influence your mind in your environment okay so the way you see things okay so I have pre and probiotics this is just gut health guys this is what I'm talking about so like if you are feeding the gut and you're feeding it clean it has clean water it has really good nutrients then whatever you put into your body is able to grasp 
all those good things. It's able to grab that iron that you might need, that vitamin A, that vitamin D. If you are burning that gut health up, that pre and uh, probiotics, if you're not getting what you need, you're basically burning that environment and it won't be able to grab the food that it needs to actually flourish and to actually support the mindset. Okay, and that's what's going to go into the next thing we're going to talk about is stress. If your gut health is stressed out, uh, pounding the gut with sugar, pounding the gut with processed food, pounding the gut with sugary drinks, energy drinks, trying to get instant gratification like a spike and then it goes right back low. Guys, this is going to cause a lot of stress. And if you got a lot of stress going on in your gut, you are for damn sure going to have a lot of stress going on in the mind. Okay, so this is something we really need to pay attention to. Uh, also, uh, what's happening mentally are the people around you, uh, your job, your co-workers, your, your family members, your spouse, are these people uh, limited, keeping your stress at a, at a low, or are they they're feeding into it? Because we all have stress. We're all going to have stress. It's just how you manage it. And if those people are causing you more stress, then you're going to be more stressed out in the gut. That's going to keep you tight, and you won't be able to go through your day with peace. Everybody that's in your life, they should be being. They should be your peace. They shouldn't be anything more than that. They should be your peace. When you when you get with these people, when you're around these people that you are, you know, investing in, they should always be your peace. They should be giving you a calmness about yourself so you can see things clear. Okay. If you don't, if you're not able to see things clear, guys, uh, it's really gonna, you know, it's gonna be stressful for, like I said, not just your mind but your gut as well. And the last thing we're gonna talk about, guys, is paradise. All right, paradise and hell. So, what does paradise look like to you? Look around you right now. Is this paradise? And I mean, I'm not talking about just your situation. I mean, like the people around you, the environment that you are in, the environment that you love to be in. Or do you really love to be in it? Is that environment uh, healthy to provide paradise? Is it supporting you? Is it giving you what you need to flourish, that nutrients that you need to flourish? Is that food that you're eating? If you think about it, is that white sandy beaches? Is that, you know, green leaves all around you? Is that fresh fruits and vegetables hanging on trees? Because that's what you should be pouring into your gut. And if you're pouring it into your gut, then if you know gut health is mental health, then you know you'll be able to see a lot clearer. You'll have more of a clear vision rather than sugar, cupcakes, processed food, because processed food is fake, right? So paradise can't be fake. That means the people around you can't be fake. And if they fake, that's more stress. That's more stress for your gut. And it's just one big circle. All right. So just really pay attention to that, guys. Really be aware of your environment, what's happening, not just outside of you, but all around you, within you. All these things play a part into a really good, healthy uh, foundation, uh, especially in nutrition, guys. So just pay attention to this. If you like the conversation that we're having today, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I want to hear your thoughts on this conversation. This is really juicy right here, and I'm going to see you next time.